Restless leg syndrome is a common chronic movement disorder, in which patients have an irresistible urge to move their legs. The disorder that is characterized by intense restlessness and unpleasant creeping sensations deep inside the lower legs. Symptoms appear when the legs are at rest and are worst in the evening and at night. They force patients to keep moving their legs, and often to get out of bed and wander about. Periodic limb movements. Between 5% to 15% of the population may have restless leg syndrome. It means it is very common disorder. Patients describe sensations such as crawling, creeping, pulling, itching, drawing, or stretching, all localized to deep structures rather than the skin. Symptoms can range from very mild problems to others having major disruption of sleep and impairments in quality of life. The urge to move the extremities is less during the day but gets progressively worse in the evenings and at night. The symptoms also can appear on the upper extremities. The urge to move the lower extremities may partially or completely be relieved by ambulation or stretching the legs. As long as the activity is continued, the symptoms are mild or absent. The condition is not painful, but strong perceived need to move their legs when their legs are at rest is relieved with leg motion. Restless leg syndrome has a diurnal pattern wherein symptoms worsen at night, and sleep disturbance is often a problem. There is an association with involuntary jerking movements of the legs during sleep, known as periodic leg movements of sleep. The disorder may start in childhood, but the diagnosis is often not made until the third decade of life. Psychiatric factors, stress, and fatigue may also exacerbate symptoms. Restless leg syndrome is two types. First, primary, which represents around 70% of cases. And there is no defined underlying cause, but it has genetic bases. And secondary restless leg syndrome can occur secondary to some disorders including iron deficiency, end-stage renal disease, diabetes mellitus, rheumatic disease, venous insufficiency, peripheral neuropathy, lumbosacral radiculopathy, fibromyalgia, celiac disease and medications like antidepressants, alcohol and caffeine. Restless leg syndrome affects close to one-third of pregnant patients, but luckily the symptoms subside in a few weeks after delivery. The pathogenesis of restless leg syndrome is not completely known. Most cases are idiopathic. In idiopathic restless leg syndrome, a dysfunction of the dopaminergic system and iron stores in specific regions in the brain diminish. Treatment Treatment for restless leg syndrome is usually not commenced in patients with sporadic or mild symptoms. Patients should be advised to avoid caffeine, antidepressants, antipsychotics, dopamine-blocking antiemetics, and centrally acting antihistamines. Today, the first-line treatment is either an alpha-2-delta calcium channel ligand or a dopamine receptor agonist. Supplemental iron is recommended for all patients who have low serum ferritin levels. Dopamine agonists, including pramipexol, ropinirole, rotigotine, and k-bergolin, have reduced symptoms, improved sleep quality and quality of life. Pramipexol and ropinirole have adverse effects, including gambling addiction and extreme weight gain. The rotigotine transdermal patch can also be used. It is well tolerated and has a relatively low risk of clinically significant augmentation of restless legs syndrome. Most medications are effective one to five years, after the time they lost their effectivity. Gabapentin is effective for one year, levodopa for two years, and rotigotine for five years, probably effective for durations ranging between one and five years. Prognosis. Complications of the disease itself are limited to the quality of life due to disturbed sleep and fatigue. In most patients, the symptoms progress over time and cause significant quality of life issues. Restless leg syndrome also called Willis-Eckbaum disease.